Today I'm going to do a quick preform test. So I've got it all set up. I've got angle set to about 35 degrees here. This is going to be the crown of the stone. So we'll go ahead and fire up the drip. Takes a little while to get going after it's the tubes run dry. Okay, I got the drip going. With that you can hear it's just barely touching the wheel. So what it's going to do is it's going to rotate the stone around uh, twice, and then it's going to rotate it around twice again. Then it's going to drop the stone down uh, 0.025 millimeters. It's going to do that 10 times for a total drop of uh, a quarter of a millimeter. So that's a um, almost half a millimeter it'll take off of the diameter of the stone so and if I want to do it again then I can just repeat the, the program so we'll just press any button here to start first it goes up locks the axis here it's gonna go around Here it's keeping track of the total time. You can hear that it's only hitting the lap on one side, so I know the stone is not quite centered on the dock, and that's why I'm doing this preform here. About one minute in here, you can hear it. A little bit longer of a chatter on one side, so it's starting to get down into the meat of the stone. Uh, I would consider the program to be finished until after I hear it rubbing against the plate for a full rotation, and then I'd know that it's actually got an even preform all the way around. If we watch this Z axis very carefully, we'll see it. There we go, it just moved the tiniest little bit, so it moves one step. And that's equivalent to uh, 0 0.025. And let's see, now that we've gone down a step, it's staying in contact with a lap for just a tiny bit longer. And as I do more and more of these steps, it will eventually put the stone in contact with the lap all the way around. Okay, so it's coming back up. Program says I was two minutes finished cutting, cut again, 0 0.25 millimeters, minutes to press one to start. So I'm gonna press one here. Lowers it back down. Oh, I'm gonna have to press one again because I'm back at the beginning of the program. And do the normal lock here. I'm going to do one more cycle here. And I think at that point we're going to have pretty good contact all the way around. And you can hear it. Just at one point it, it kind of lets up a little bit. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with how that's looking. So the next step after this will be to preform the the girl or the the cylinder of the stone. All right. So now that I'm happy with the preform of the table, we're gonna round out the edge of the stone real quick. I'm gonna increase the speed here a little bit. This um. This motor setup has a bit of a resonant frequency, and that's it seems to be best at about around 450, 470 RPMs. That's where the shake comes out. So, I've got this setup here. 
One thing I do need to adjust here is I need to change this because this is running into this bracket here and I'm shorting myself about 10 millimeters of drop. So uh, I need to change this bracket around and reprint that bracket. Uh, and once I do that, um, I can get the stone down a little lower, but the preform is coming out nicely. After I preform that stone, I'm gonna try to do this one in a square, so that's coming up right here. Uh, just stay tuned for another minute here. All right, so now we're doing a square preform. General concept's pretty simple. Stone rotates 90 degrees, comes down to contact the lap, goes forward, backward, goes back up, rotates 90 degrees, comes back down, contacts the lap, goes back and forward. You can hear on that side it didn't barely even hit the lap because that side's a little lower on the stone. I'm gonna go back up again, come back down. And it's going up and down the same amount each time. And after it completes a, a cycle of four rotations, having done each, each side of the stone, the entire y-axis here, or as we say z-axis, will drop down one step and then it repeats. So it'll do that whole thing 10 times to remove another quarter of a millimeter off the stone. So if we zoom in here, we can, well, I'll take another video of it here after I've done a full cycle. This one will take significantly longer than the round because of all the ups and downs. That's where most of the time is spent. It's just moving the stone up and down on the lap. Okay, so I've been running the program here five or six segments. I made a few changes. Uh, I decreased the distance that it travels up from 200 steps down to 150, just to shave a little time off. And I also, instead of it just the y-axis dropping down, only one step is now dropping down two steps for every cycle. So every cycle I'll remove half a millimeter of material and that'll go a little faster. The squares take a lot longer to do than the rounds. And so I'm hoping to shave a little time off here. While we're waiting for the stone to cut, here's the round freeform. So you can see it did a really good job on that. And in the square one will go well as well. All right, here's the preform for the square done. Uh, as you can see, I didn't bother trying to get it to an exact point because this is a really coarse grit. This is 120 grit and it would just end up chipping. So I went ahead and stopped sooner rather than later. But this way, since it's all even all the way around, now I can go ahead and run it through another program and get a square cut from this. So I'm quite happy with that. So. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.